Hello friends. Today I'm going to demonstrate you in my database in his plot code with entry to code. And uh, I'm going to show you the live example how we can use in my database for our for our uh, unit is. So to perform uh, to use in my database, first of all we need uh, to install the package microsoft.entity framework code dot in memory and uh, uh, here are some steps uh, uh, to configure in memory database in our unit test first of all we need to create a project for unit test and uh, then we need to install the package then we need to create a class file for unit test uh, for testing the controller for example and then we have to initialize the in memory database uh, and uh, here we can insert some values, some sample values in our entities, which uh, we're gonna see in our in memory database. So let's jump to the code. So here's uh, my solution. I've already uh, created a repository, a repository pattern uh, with entry to code. Let me go through it. Here I have the API and data in data we have uh, data uh, data layer, then domain layer, and the service layer. In the data layer, we have a uh, entity context where I have uh, created two entities, companies and employees. So we're gonna perform in memory database on our company uh, table. I already have uh, created one controller named company controller where I perform CRUD operation on company. So let's uh, use the in-memory database to add a com uh, in-memory database uh, in adding a company. So first of all, to start with, uh, let's create a unit project. I'm gonna show you how you can create a new project. Just search for X unit. And uh, the first one, which is cross platform, uh, so you can uh, check on it and click on next and uh, give the project name and then next and then create. Once you have uh, created your project, then I need to create, uh, you need to add dependency. Uh, for example, you need to add a manager, uh, add a nugget for in memory database. So here is the package name. I've already installed in my uh, this unit test project. You can install it. Once you install it, then uh, create a unit test file for your controller, for example. You are creating a unit test for controller. So I've already created one unit test file. And inside I have uh, configured uh, my com uh, uh, company repository and uh, also Configure the context. For example, I created one entity context static class with context data. Inside there, I've uh, injected the uh, app setting JSON file in our configuration and then calling the connection string from the configuration and initializing our in memory database. After that, uh, I have called my entity DB context, which is a real time, uh, real time entity context uh, I've created in, um, in my data layer. I'll call that object and uh, and I've inserted some sample values in our company entities. Once I, once all it's done, uh, uh, don't uh, forget to add this have say changes missing method after uh, adding the sample values in our in your entities and then return the context from it. Once you perform all these operations, then create a uh, uh, one method for your test uh, test case here I, i've already created one test one i have uh, just added a new company name you can name anything with sample tutor and then after that i'm calling my add company method which gonna save it to our database uh, here i'm here we are using any in memory database so it's gonna save to our in memory database so let's jump to the Demo, demo part. 
I'm going to run this, debug this, and show you how the in-memory database works. So here you can see new company tutor and inside of our add company method. Uh, if you hover on your company entity, then you can and under the result view, you can see we have already added two uh, sample values, for example, A1 and Google. We have already added two uh, new comp uh, two sample companies in our company entity, and this is the new one name which named as tutor so after save changes you can again over it on the company and see a third value is added to our in database after then we can perform a session and whatever we want from our in memory database yeah yeah that's all thank you everyone